So Koshikun is the namai of this hamster and um, Hatsukoi is first love. And, and um, Kiba, onegaishimasu. Mura, mura o myo mi o wasu. Toko Yamano Okano Ue. Hi. Um, you pronounce this character wrong. What is that? Ro. Hi. Orosu. Miorosu. Miorosu. Mura o Miorosu. Totoko. Koyamano Okano Ue Mura means forest. Mm, that's close. That's Mori. Mori means forest. Mori. Mura means village. Yes. Mura, uh, Mura does mean village. Okay. Mura o Mio Rosu Totoko. Yamano uh, Okarno Ue uh, and there's a, a village on top of a mountain. So um oro miorosu means to overlook something. So you're seeing something and looking down. Miorosu. Okay. So the subject of this has been dropped off, but it's probably the hamster. So the hamster is looking down at the Muda. Okay. Next is Totoko Yama no Oka no Ue. Totoko Yama no. Very far away mountain. Hmm. Uh, I could definitely see why you think that. So totoko is uh does sound a lot like the word for far away, but it's actually the sound effect Himtara makes when he like walks around. It's like the marching mountain, and it's just the not the name of the mountain. Like how we the like the this show is called Totoko Hamtaro, which is like the trotting trot trottling hamster hamtaro so it's just like toddling mountain or something it it's just the name so totoko mountain would be a good translation as well okay okano okano uye oka on top of the mountain yes okay. on top of the mountain oka means hill so it's kind of like the hill on, on top of the hill on the mountain, which is kind of weird to say in English, but hi. So this hamster is overlooking the village while standing on a hill on the mountain. And that's Koshikun, isn't it? And um, uh, Archana, on <laughs> Um, um Kumo o nagamete koshikun wa ko subuyakso. So ko might be hard as it's referring to what he said before. So like sono mono is kind of like what you think it means. Uh, so kumon is a cloud. Right. Do you know what nagameru means? Uh, I am not sure. Nagai would be like long. That is true. Nagai does <laughs> be long, but the kanji is actually different. Nagameru mm -hmm. is actually a verb that has to do with using your met which are your eyes. 
which is actually inside of the kanji. Got a little meh. So, and it has to do, so basically he's looking at something. So it means to like gaze at, basically, the mm -hmm. gaze at the, the clouds. This meh. Uh, and Koshi Kun is a name. Yes. Hi. Is that right? Okay. Yes. So tsubayaki, you probably don't know this. It's yeah. it, it's not something that has that would be taught in any textbook. Okay. It just you wouldn't say it out loud. It's like a it's a it's a ver word that's commonly used when reading books, and it means to mutter. So that's why the ko tsubuyaku, the ko is referring to the um, uro mirorosu totoko yama no oka no ue. I don't really know why he's saying that. Or maybe he's talking about the next sentence. Ko. Mm -hmm. It just means like this. It's like this thing. Gotcha. So, ko, so this thing tsubuyaku. So yeah, Koshikun mutters something uh, while staring at the clouds. Hi, hi, hi. And that is, no wonder I was confused. This is the wrong page. Boop. Hi. I'm sure now we'll see what he's muttering. And um, yes, uh, Joel, onigaishimasu. Ja homo Johnny uh uh I die na hi uh he wants to meet Hamtaro Hamtaro uh, ja, ja, hi that's who he wants ja, ja, homo Hi. Johnny, I Taina. He wants to meet John ja, ja, Yes. Hi. Perfect. And Archana, on a guy's mask. Natsu no hi ni. De atsuta kawaii onna no ko. Hi. So this tu right here is actually a little bit smaller than this tu. tu. Uh, so it's a uh, atta. Hi. Hey, yeah. hey, and it's the same atta like um aitaina that we see up here. Same ah. Uh. Okay. Um so on uh on a summer day. Hi. Hey. Um, want to meet a cute uh, girl. Very close. So deata actually means the first time I've met. The first time, okay. The first time, deata. The... So he's basically speaking about how he's met Jamu Jamu Hamcha, the first time they met. Uh, and... uh, Joel. お願いします。今、今で、今でも I don't want to forget from now on. Hmm, kind of close. So you're right that wasure raranai means um kind of like I don't want to forget, but it exactly means. I am unable to forget. So the potential of forgetting does not exist. The ima demo, what do you, do you know what ima means? 
今でも。でも。Uh, uh, 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 Example demo we've seen before in this in these books where they're kind of like listing the an example, but it's uh in this context, it's like even so, even now would be uh okay, so that demo can be thought of too. So, to the extent that even now at this moment, it's been so long, ima demo wasere dare night, and that zuto is just the forever zuto. So, all together, what does this say, Kiba? I mean. Joel? <laughs> uh, even now, I, I'm not able to forget about her. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. That's uh, last year's summer day. And we got a scary little cow. Wow. Wow. And, um, Archana, on a guy's to us. Koshikun Chidai no Oh boy. <laughs> Katakana. I know. <laughs> Ponchida. That's actually really close. So that's actually this character. Mm. Um, oh, um, pin, pinchida. Hi, pinchida. And you accidentally pronounce this as she. Oh, sorry. So, sai dai no. Sai dai. And this sai is the same sai as like sai kyo or, um, lots of sais. <laughs> Hard to think of them on top of your head, but it's a very common compound, I guess. Like your side eye. So it's like very big? Yes. Uh, but kind of more like meta, like the pinchy is very big, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, pinchy is like being in a pinch. So it's a. Uh, yeah. Yes. Hi. So Kushikun's in a big trouble, basically, is what that says. And here's Jaja Hamu. And since that one was so short, I can have Archana do this one as well. Oh, um, oh is that first character? Oh, OK. So um, Soko de uh, Shiriata no ga. Uh, Jaja Ahamachan Nano de Shta. This is just filler right there, so I'll delete that. <laughs> it's always good to break things up. Soko de? Uh, like here? Hi. So it's here, but since he's speaking about something in the past, it's like back then or then or there. Well, that's why he's not saying koko de, because koko would be like eat right now. But since we're in a, he's like remembering the past, that's where they're using soko de. So, so there, I guess. Here, there. Ito, shiriata. Again, to meet, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, hi. Because a shiriai is an acquaintance. So, Shiriata no ga Jaja Hamachan deshita. So, um, there, um, we met Jaja Hamachan. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, like, the, so there, the one I met was Jaja Ham. And the the thing I scribbled out was the nano de, the nano, which kind of makes it like an explanation, kind of. It's kind of like the one that was met, of course, was you know Jaja Ham, because that wouldn't make any sense if he met somebody else. Achioiki, which is like 
go away. She, 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 she. And, and I'm going to do two at a time for this one. Uh, Joel, onigaishimasu. Hey. <laughs> do, 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 Perfect. And Archena, these two. Uh, onaka uh, sui. Uh, oh, sui teru. Right. Sui te uh, masu. Hi. Perfect. Do you know what onaka suita means? Uh, is onaka the same? Mm, that is, is actually onazi is the same, but uh, onaka is actually a part of the body. And suita uh, means empty. So, onaka suiteru is kind of like, is this specific part of your body empty? So, what do you, what part of the party do you think he's referring to? Probably the stomach. Hi, it is the stomach. Theoretically, in this context, it could be his brain. Are you stupid? <laughs> do you not know where you live? But yes, onaka means your stomach. So, are you hungry? Is your stomach empty? And he answers with, suiteimasu. Suiteimasu. Sui it is empty. Hi, hi, hi. It is very empty. Yes. Empty, empty. Kung, 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 kung. That's just sound effects for sniffing. And um, Joel, what it? When you guys should Suguni futari wa naka yoshi. Let's go to Futari wa Nakayoshi. Let us both eat immediately. So, so, this is actually more an observation of what happened than an actual order. So, it's more like, oh, these yeah. guys, Suguni, Tono Futari wa Nakayoshi ni natta. Sugoi is this kind of like a comment on that. So how would okay. you rephrase that? Uh, the boat ate immediately. They both what immediately? Eight. Eight? Uh, I, I can see why you'd guess that by the context, but Nakayoshi actually has a similar meaning to Nakama, which, you know, is that... Uh. Comrade meaning. So Nakayoshi is like your personness is good. <laughs> I don't know how to how to split that up, but basically it means um you get along well. So you're Nakayoshi. Okay. So those two quickly became friends, basically. They they quickly were got along well. And um Archana, what it on you guys. Uh Shibaraku. And do you know what shibaraku means? That's like an iffy word. Yeah, I'm not very sure, but uh, they they played together. Mm -hmm. the Hi. Second part. That is what the second part means. So shibaraku is kind of like for the time being. So it's just like saying there was some time for a while. It's just kind of like a filler time word. So for, for now, they, for, for a while, we filled up the time by playing together. Doki, 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 doki. The sound effect of your heart beating. Joel, onigashimasu. 
ってもかわいいじゃあジャハムちゃんあジャジャハムちゃん is extremely cute はい yes コウシ君 OK So our Tiana and it starts over here and ends down there はいこのままずっと一緒にいられればいいな Uh, so from now till forever, if we can be together, it's good. Yes, perfect. And、uh, Joel, what do you guys do? So, 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 おもてたおもてたこしくんなのにそんなふうそんなふう Do you know what the f o o means in this context?、Uh, grass? Sadly, no. I'm not sure if f o o can ever mean grass. It could mean wind in certain contexts. But in this case, it's kind of like that way is kind of what Fu means. So just saying like that, the, the way in which he was thinking, I guess. So na Fu ni. Altogether, it's kind of like that behavior, that kind of like thought process, kind of. Okay. So na Fu ni. Omote ta. Koshikun ni. In that thought process, Omoteta、uh, Koshikun is thinking in that way.、Hmm. What does the Nanoni、uh, add to this?、Uh, Nanoni, we, we just we don't. Uh, read that one, read.、Uh, no, no, no. What? We don't read it, right? Don't. Usually.、Uh, can you say that one more time? I don't know why I'm having trouble here. <laughs>、uh, so, usually in this manga, we don't、oh, read it, right? Oh, okay.、No. Hi. So it's, rather than usually, Nanoni is like the opposite. So, like, even it's like a, it's another even though kind of word. So, it's like, even though Koshikun was thinking in this manner, so, so fu ni omotta Koshikun. So, the, so, even though Koshikun was thinking in that manner, this is what's going to happen. And I'm actually going to have you do that sentence as well, since it's continuing that same thought process. That's down there. Ukari. Ukari Boku Jo. Boku Jo. Hana re te shimata no desu. Boku Jo. You haven't seen this in a while. Do you remember what it meant? No. Hi. So, Boku Jo is the, is the name of the location they're at that has, you know, cows and other things. It is the farm. Boku Jo. Okay. Ukari Boku Jo Hanare Hanare Te Shimata Hanare Hanare. Anarete Shimata Shimata no desu. 
sorry, I don't know、uh, any of it. I feel like you do know hanarete. I feel like you do know that word. This might be that everything's together. It's making a little like, ah. So, ukari is just a, kind of like a weird word that's kind of like, whoopsie daisies. That's what ukari、oh. means. So, he just wasn't thinking. He just, whoops. And he, and he、uh, hanarete shimatta is、uh, what he did from the bokujo. So, it, we can see in the picture. That、um, Koshikun has f e l l inside of some kind of cart. And the Bokujo is kind of like getting farther and farther away. And he's like,、yeah. oh. So if you know we're getting farther and farther away from the Bokujo, what do you think the Hanarete means?、Uh, hanarete. Uh, going far away.、Mm. It might be the form of the word. I'm like, how is this word from? I know、Anarete. you know this word. I know you do. Anarete shimata. He forgot. It actually means to be separated from something. So it's saying he got separated from the Bokujo because he wanted to live here forever. He's like, wow, Jaja Ham's here and she's awesome and I love her and she feeds me all these great things. But, and even though he's thinking that and he's like, wow, he just accidentally falls into this thingy and he gets separated from the Bokujo. Kawai so Koshikun. Eto. And I can't see this. Hi. And Archana, when you guys smell us. Jaja Ham Chan ni Sayonara mo ie zuni. I said goodbye to Jaja Ham Chan. Very close, but zu changes that meaning very slightly. You would not have been taught zu yet, but if, you're get, if, you, if you just want to like guess,、um, do you think he had the time to say sayonara to Jajaham? If he ukari, he, he did not. Hi, hi. So that means without doing that. Without. And this actually goes this way first. And then this way. So, this is kind of like the end of that sentence. So, but I can, oops, oops, I am sorry. Sorry, I just have weird things on my screen. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm going to have you do this one. It starts over here and then goes over there. Kono Mura no Doko ni Jaja Ham Chan wa Iru no Kana. So, where in this village does Jaja Ham Chan like, live? Or where is It's just like, where is she, basically?、Yeah. Do you know what Kana means?、Um, I think this is like taught later on in Genki. It's like, I wonder. It's just like a wondering. Like,、hmm, I wonder.、Yeah. wonder. Where is Jaja Ham? Doko Kana? もう一度僕は会いたいよ会い,会いたいよ、uh, again、no. Once again,、mm-hmm. I want to meet. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Once again, I want to meet. And we got Odi chan. This is、uh, Akun's yelling this, which is、uh, <laughs> uh, basically the child of the owner who's Odi chan, who is the grandpa. So, we ha- so right now, the little kid is talking. 
and um, uh, Archana, onegaishimasu, koko. Um, boku, boku jo kara ni, ni re, no, ni uh, ni. Uh, so, de, wait, sorry, de looks like this, and it does look like that. And it is one of the R katakana characters. Miru. Uh, What's this last one? Oh. My hint is this picture. ミルク。ミルクが、うん、届いたよ。はい。僕上から、ミルクが届いたよ。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。ミルク。
na futariwa tunaga they both have same feelings towards mm -hmm. uh, each other that's why they are connected yes hi perfect yes and oops, oops. now we're on our next story Nopoku no Kenkyu, which is the research and like investigation, like like science studying research by Nopokun. And just letting you know, it's very important to know this before reading this. Nopokun is stupid. It's very important because okay. some things he says <laughs> does not make sense if you think he's smart. We have to be like, okay, he's stupid. So like don't read in to things. Uh and that will make it easier to do. And this sentence right here, some people had some trouble with this because uh, it's a rhetorical question. Honestly, you know the context of this. It's what you do when you talk to your pet, if you've ever had a pet. So that is the context for this um, sentence. So Aka goes, no pokun and Archana. Yeah. Um, Nani ga kaite aru no ka? Um, what's written in in the book? Um, I'm not sure how fits in the. So you're correct that what's written in the book is basically what this says. So kiteru. So there's kiku. You probably know this word. What does it mean? To, to hear yes does it ha doesn't it have a second meaning uh, not off the top of my head the second meaning means to ask surprisingly so it can mean to listen or to ask a lot of times though when it means to ask they use this kanji instead just like i think they make it a little bit more clear because it has the you the, to say kanji in it but this but the this kanji can be used i believe because i've seen it that's how it was like taught in the textbook i feel like with this kanji um so kiteru is like to ask and this no is ka is like a question it's just like ka so like are you asking is basically what the kiteru no so all together what do you think this is Oh, I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit. What was oh, the question oh. again? So, kiterno means, um, sorry, my internet looks very unstable. Uh, kiterno means, are you asking this? Kiteru is to ask, mm -hmm. and no is like the question, like, are you asking? So, we can look at notebook and, and he's going, chi 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 while whacking at the book. Hmm, notebook, nanika kai. So what do you think he's what all together what he's saying? Oops. Like uh are you asking what's uh in written here? Yes, that is exactly what Akun is saying. Oh, are you asking what's inside the book? Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what it says in this book. And uh, and Joel. You actually have a little long one right here. Goes from down here up to there. Boop, boop. Yo. Yo, Zora. Yo, Zora Hikaru. Yo, Zora Hikaru. Yo, Zora Ni Hikaru. O Hoshi Sama. Wa Sugo Sugoku Tokuni Arundate. And I'm going to split this up because it's kind of long. So, keep uh, Joel, what is Ohoshi Sama? Ohoshi Sama.
Hoshisama, have I been cut out? Dun, dun, dun. Hello, can you oh, hear me? Right, now I can hear you. Hello. What did you say what Hoshisama meant? <laughs> uh, I meant, uh, I said uh, universe. Universe? That is actually a good guess. And I could see like kind of why, because like Hoshi can basically refer to any kind of like plant stuff in the sky. But in this context, Hoshi uh, means um, star, basically. Would be the best way to okay. think of it. Um, next oh, is Yozora. What is, oops. <laughs> what is Yozora? It's made up of Yoru and Sora. Yozora, Yoru, night sky, night yes. sky, Yozora. So, night sky, ni, uh, Hikaru, Ohoshi Samawa, uh, the twinkling uh, in the night sky, Hi. the stars are twinkling. Yes. The stars are those stars twinkling in the night sky. Those stars yeah. are Sugoku Toko ni Arundate. So Sugoku Toku Toku ni Arundate. They're very extremely far away. Yes. And what does Date add to this meaning? Uh, date. It's just a dip. Sorry, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, dip is a colloquial way of quoting things. So, Nopokun was like, oh, what's inside this book? And he's like, oh, this book says, Yoshizora ni hikaru o hoshisama wa sugoku toko ni aru is basically what the, um, is written inside the book. So the t is like, the, it says, basically. Okay. So this is what the book says. T. Okay. To. And now we are at uh, Archena. Onigaishimasu. Sorry. Um, uh, ro. Oh, so that's actually a small two. Oh, Roketto. Oh, Roketto, yeah. Uh, Hikoki ni notte mo Zutto, uh, Zutto Tadori. Tsukenai Gurai no Toku date. First off, do you remember what I mentioned earlier about Temo? Uh, demo? Yeah, demo. I said Demo that time, yes. That's a good memory. It was Demo back then, but this is the same uh, thing. Uh... Oh boy, was it like ever since or? It's close. It means or like, even even. Though. yes, even, even. Okay. yes, it's the even demo. Okay. What is this part then? So, uh, so like either in a rocket or a plane or even in a rocket or a plane. Yes. Um. Do you know what Tadori Tuku means? Does it mean like, like distance? It actually doesn't mean distance, but I could definitely like kind of like see it kind of meaning that. It's, it's a lot similar to Todoku, Todoku, in that it kind of means to arrive at something. So Tadori Tsuku means to arrive at like a destination or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we got Zuto Tadori Tsuke Nai. 
is what this says. So what does that mean? So we, we can't uh, arrive at. Mm. Hi, hi. Sono gurai is how toku it is. Mm. Okay. It's like very far. Yes. Uh, gurai is like um, approximate like, uh, to extent, I guess. So to the extent that you can zuto toku nai, that is how far it is, how todoku it is. So all together, summarize. Um, so even like, even with a rocket or a plane, it's so far that we can't reach it or Perfect. we can arrive there. Yes. So in English, you're something up in English. There's something kind of wrong about the sentence. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's just like the missing subject or actually it was a, a just a thing um, in English. We have the sun and the sun is a kind of star. So theoretically, we could reach a star with a rocket. But however, in Japanese, Hoshi does not refer to the sun. And it also does not refer to the moon and it does not refer to the earth. It's kind of like, but it refers to like other space stuff. So like some planets can use Hoshi to refer to them. Like I think like Jupiter, you could use Hoshi with it, but I'm not sure. So that's like a random in interesting tidbit about the difference between Japanese Hoshi and English Hoshi. So theoretically, you say like the stars are too far away that we could never reach it even with a rocket would theoretically be wrong in English because we could theoretically reach the sun. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Random tippet. Uh, Joel, onegaishimasu. Do, do, do re go rai, uh, to no koto ka. No, no, po kun ni wa wakaruka wakaruka na dore dore urai to kuto to kuno kotoka no po kun ni wa uh, how much far So the subject has slightly been dropped off of this, which is the stars. So the subject is like the stars in this. So no ohoshi sama wa dore gorai toku no koto ka no poku ni wa wakaru wakaru ka na. Ah, the the stars. Do you know how 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 far uh, are those stars? Hi. No poku. Yes. So kana has a little bit of different meaning. Does um, arcana remember? Archana? Oh uh, yeah, I think you said it meant to like, to, I wonder if. Yes. Because theoretically, Akun does not speak hamster, but he's pretty good at it. So he's like, huh, I wonder if uh -huh. Mopukun actually understands what I'm telling him, basically. Spoiler alert, he does not. Um, and Archana, kore, onegaishimasu. Um. Honto no hoshi wa motto motto o kin da yo. So, uh, really, the, the stars are very, very big. Right. Because normally when you see stars, they look teeny tiny, they're little sparkles in the sky. But honto, totemo o ki, motto motto. Now we're on no pokuns, no kangai kata. What is he thinking? And we're about there. And um, Joel, what do you guys see? No, 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 no
僕のはお,お星様のこともっともっともっともっともっと研究研究することにしましたあの僕のはお星様のこと、もともと研究することにしました。あの、僕の、wants to research, do research, do a lot of research,、uh, on stars. Basically, the only thing is is that this is actually saying he did it. So, like, he like, he was like, I'm doing it. it.、Ah, doing yeah. it. So, it's like, it's very like, I did it rather than, oh, it'd be nice to research. <sighs> But yeah, he, he's, a, he's committed. And、um, Arcana, I'm actually going to have you do both of these. But one at a time, because they're, they're kind of like they're related sentences.、Um, Hoshi Made. ひまわりのたねたねはなんこならぶのかな So, first off, you haven't been here before, so you probably do not know what ひまわりのたね means, but、uh, everybody, everybody else, we've like got this like hammered in because so much, it's a hamster word. <laughs> it's a sunflower,、so, right? Yeah.、Or- It is. Himawari is sunflower and Tane is specifically the seeds versus、oh. Hana, which is specifically the flower. Okay. So, and then you accidentally said Narabi rather than Narabu. Narabu.、Oh, <laughs> what is the meaning of Narabu? So, what is he doing in this picture right here? Um, is he eating them or? It's actually a good guess looking at counting. The- Uh, that's another good guess. That's kind of related to what the meaning of this is. But basically, imagine if he had all these sunflower seeds in his hands originally. They went boop, 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 boop. And what he's doing by he doing. Drop, drop them. <laughs> yes, he's dropping them. Specifically, he's dropping them in a line. That、yeah. means to line something up. So basically, if you put all the.、Uh. Himawari is right against each other, Narambu them. And this coal right here is a counter. So, Hoshi sama made, I mean, I mean, Hoshi made, Himawari no tane wa nanko narabu no kana. What does this mean? Uh, I'm not sure if this is the exact translation, but like trying to line up the sunflowers to up to the stars or like until the stars. Is that、I'm、close? So it means、um, how many sunflower seeds would it take、right. if you line them all up, all the way up to the stars? So that's the ohoshi made, which is to the extent that you reach the stars. And Nanko, which is like the, the, there's a fill in number for the amount of sunflower seeds, and Narabu is just、uh, lining up. So if you had a line of sunflower seeds that went all the way up to the star, how many would be inside of it? It's kind of like a direct translation, I guess. <laughs> and this one right here is very similar to that. Just know, no pokun is dumb and you can do it. <laughs> so, what uh, is Yeah, h i m a w a r i no hana wa hoshi made todoku gurai no
ビロノカナ。うん。あ、ノビル。ノビル。サイ。ノビルノカナ。うん。あ。Do you remember what to document? あ、uh,、again to reach or to、yeah. お星様まで届く。So, to reach the stars. はいはいはい。And, no, we do. I bet you don't know. I don't think that'd be taught at anything, right? Yeah, I'm not familiar. It means like to stretch, kind of. Like if you like reach as far as you can up, upwards. So, no good at、uh-huh. So, so can, oh, so can, um, Mari no Hana, so sun. I wonder if a sunflower could grow and reach the stars.、Okay. Yeah. That is basically what it says. I wonder if, um, the Himawa, Himawa sunflower flowers can reach our. They can reach up to the extent that they could touch the stars. Can they grow that high? <laughs> that high? I so, wonder. I wonder. So, yeah, he definitely did not understand what Haku was called. <laughs> Korea, Abu Naizo! Hey, that's dangerous! As you can see, he's trying to reach for the o h o s h i s a m a from Grandpa's head. <laughs> so, right now, it is eight o'clock. Does anybody have to go? Or do we want to try finishing the story?、Uh, it's okay. I have to go with you in half an hour. Half an hour. Okay. Let's see if we can do it in that fast. And、um, right here is Joel. Want to go to us? Say no. Say no. Takai. おじいちゃん、おじいちゃんなら、ごしをて、てで、ごし、ごし、ごしをてで、さわったことあるのかな、あせの高い、おじいちゃんから、ああ、おしお、おしお、てで、さわったことあるのかな、ああ、he wants to, Ah, say no. Guy. Which one? Start with Nara. What does Nara mean? Nara. Sorry. You don't know、uh, Nara? No. Oh, it's a if. So, like, if it's grandpa. Odisha Nara. It's, it's like an if, but like a I bet kind of if. Like, I bet if it's grandpa. Because his se no takai. You know what that means?、Uh, his head is.、Uh, he's, he's very tall. Yes, Seno Takai means very tall. So if it's the very tall grandpa, for sure, I bet, like, it, it kind of has like that, that nara, it kind of has that, like, I bet, like, I'm pretty sure of this. Like, no pukun is like confident. And what he is wondering, this kana, which is the swata koto ga aru. Swata koto ga aru. Do you know what sawaru means? Sawaru?、Uh, to measure? No, but I bet there is a word that sounds similar to that that means to measure. Sawaru means to touch. Touch.、Okay. So, Sawaru with his te toward the Ohoshi sama, kind of like in this picture. Yeah. 
So what is um hoshio te de sawatta? What does that mean? Uh hoshio te de sawatta. Uh he wants to touch the stars. So is it want? And no. it, it's, it's the past tense of swatted. So have touched the stars. So koto, a lot of times this will be koto ga arimas. Um, I don't know when this is taught in most things, but Archana, do you know what koto ga arimas means? Kotoiba nihon ni iku koto ga arimas ka would be like a common question that would be asked. Arimas. うん。私もあります。あちゃな、日本に行ったことがありますか?うん。本に行ったことがありますか?Just uh, to be able to It actually means have you ever had the experience is the koto ga arimasu. So, um, Nihon ni ita koto ga arimasu ka is, have you ever been to Japan? Which, <laughs> so in this case, it's have you, so it's like the experience of touching the stars. I, I feel like he's had it. Like, I feel like he's had that experience. It's just an interesting, oh. um, it's not saying like when he did it, but just that at some point in his life, he has touched the stars because grandpa is so tall. Like he's he, he's wondering this, but he's barely confident in his wonder. So it's almost like a rhetorical question, like, oh, I wonder if since since grandpa is so tall that he is, you know, touched the stars. Because he's so tall. Um and um Archena, what it you guys must uh Waku waku shite kuryo. Um, I, I think waku hmm. uh, waku like doku doku if you know that doki 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 oh. it's doki doki not doku doku <laughs> doki doki. <laughs> <laughs> not doku doku. It, so doki doki, do you know what that means? That's like a heartbeat, right? It is a heartbeat. Doki doki has a more romantic connotation, while waku waku has a more excitement connotation. So it's more, but it's the same like your heart, like waku 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 waku. So they're basically like two sides of a coin, but this is the romantic version. So this is more of the generic version so, so i think it must be exciting hi 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 you know what kangai kangairu means to to think right hi 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 so what is he thinking about <laughs> that's a context question not a grammar one that touching the stars is mm. must have been exciting yes so he's excited thinking about the ways in which someone could possibly touch the stars, probably. Because there's a lot of parts that he does not understand. I just want to do this part. So because he doesn't understand things, he's like, wow, these things are like wonderful. And he like can see that they're like, because they're like mysterious so they're wonderful is basically what this is saying because when you don't understand something it like is beautiful <laughs> and and joel kore onegaishimasu mopoku no wa hitori de yama ni aru ichi ban taka Taka Ichiban Taka ni Kini Nobo Noboru 
Oboru koto nishitayo. Oboru. Oboru koto nishitayo. Ya. Uh, Opoku noa. Itori de yama ni aru. Ichiban takai kini noboru ni to. Nishitayo. No pokon to even alone. Mm. Uh, yama niaru o oh, ichiban takai kini. Uh, the, the tree, the tallest tree on the mountain, Aye. on the hill. Noboru. He wants to climb. Mm. Hi. Koto nishitayo. Koto nishitayo. So you saw this Oboru earlier. Koto. It's just kind of making a statement. It's just Koto like bodimas would be like basically the same thing. Basically, same thing. Yeah, he, he he's going to climb on the tallest tree on the hill. Basically, he's determined. That that's basically what it means like because the niche starts kind of like you decided like I'm going to do this. So that's actually a really good yeah. way of putting that. And sorry, I'm just double checking. There's nothing that I can't see. Um, what is this? That is it. The tree and Archena. Kore. お願いします。どうしても方法師様に触ってみたいから。Do you remember what swatte meant? We saw it earlier. It was one of jo Joel's new words. It was uh, to touch. Hi, hi, hi. And this temo is the same temo we've seen, been seeing. Like the demo. So even um, oh. you have to like with with question words. You kind of have to like think of things like loosely. So we got doshte, <laughs> which is like why or how. Why? Kind of. So dosh demo together is like in any like possible way, like anyhow, all the hows, all of them. <laughs> it's kind of how you can think of it like anyhow of howing so in in any way no matter what <laughs> no matter what uh trying to touch the stars like in order to touch the stars basically uh the mita is more of that trying i mean the meat the meat yeah so because no matter what that's the cutter here the because so no matter, because no matter what, I want to touch the stars. And um, it's probably an explanation for the why Nopokun Hitoride went over and decided he was going to climb the tallest mountain. So because of, because of this, he, because of this, he does that. He tries climbing on the mountain. Kore, joy, onigaishimasu. Tsuno ma Tsuno manika no no pokun wa ki no ki ki no te pen te pen ni tayo Tsuno Anika Tsunomanika no Pokonwa Kino Tepen Ni Tayo Manika Pokonwa No uh, Sorry, I don't know what does it mean. It's no Manika. 
So it is like a question word for time. Ma is like a filler word that that kind of refers to a amount of something. So a amount of time. Ka is like unknown. So throughout an unknown amount of time is itsu no manika. So basically, eventually at some point, in this case, it's kind of like, um, kind of tends to be like fast, like itsu no manika, like, like before he knew it, basically, would be how we'd say it in English. Okay. Before no one knows. So you could be like, you know, the pen uh, is on top of the tree. Mm, hi, hi, hi. Teppen is the area of the most topness. And it's the same okay. ten like Tenkoku or Lois's Heaven or Angel and Atari, which is area. Yeah. Teppen. The Teppen. area of most highness. And then, uh, yeah. Todoku is such a well used word in this chapter. Archana, kore, onegashimasu. So it looks like, uh, after all, you can't reach the stars. He's going to fall. Ah! <laughs> Yare yare, what a pain. And kore, duel, onigaishimasu. No pokun ga kagato kega to wa no mezurashi. No pokun wa ga kega kega. Well, Mizurashi. He, he, he's, uh, he's not feeling well. Mm, so this, and Mizurashi, what does that mean? As, uh, he, he's looking uh, bad. So means something strange. You don't normally see this. Mezurashi. So, so nopukun ga kega to wa mezurashi, which is for for nopukun being hurt is very strange. That's what the to is kind of like to is like like for for being hurt for that nopukun. That's also why there's like that ga. It's very much nopukun, the fact that he's hurt, that is weird. If Hamtaro got hurt, that that's normal, <laughs> Tamtaro. Yeah. But no pokun. He's the he's the nerd. What's he doing? Um and Archana, kore onigashimasu. Shibaraku wa otona shiku narun narun jana. Do you remember what shibaraku meant? We saw that earlier. Um, I think it was uh, uh, something with like a period of time or like at the same uh, while. So. Yeah, so it's for for a while, for now, for while. you should otonashiku suru. should be an adult. Very close. So I, I even wrote otona right here. So it, yeah. it does kind of mean to like be adultish. But it basically means don't act like a child more. It, it basically means like be good. So don't be rambunctious. Don't run about. Just kind of sit put. Be be well behaved basically. But it's it's from that metaphorical act adultish. You know, like adults don't you know run about be hellions is like the idea behind it. So be good. Be mature. Act more mature. Might be a way to think about it. And the jiana is just old man speak. It's just furundana is probably the. And we're on our last sentence. We're going to make it. And um, these two sentences, Joel, on you guys know. These are separate sentences. No. Opokun. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Okita. Close. That's actually a chi. Ochita. 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 No, but con. Co. Co. Re. Corre. Ageru. Uh, no, but con. Uh, Ochita. Uh, right. Ochita means uh, Ochita uh, Wake up uh, That's Okita 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 is wake up So notebook I'm actually gonna go back a couple of pages for this Boop. Ochiru Oh, Ah, fell I take this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is for you. I give this. This give you. I give. You receive a to genki ni natte ni, which is become well. And kore, uh, just, just pretend this is like nemuru or whatever. <laughs> this is like the mysterious word. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just gonna read it. Iko de nemute, uh, hayaku genki ni. Narunoda, which is if you be good, sleep, you'll become well and very fast, you'll become healthy. And our channel, you'll be getting this last thing. Um, this is a long sentence, so we're actually going to split it up into little parts, so, but uh, Kore is first. Toku ni aru hoshi wa suteki. Suteki namo no nimi eru kedo. Nimi eru kedo. Mono? Mono? Oh, mi, mi eru. Hi. Mi eru kedo. Um, so the stars that are far away. Mm -hmm. You know what steki means? Steki is like totally, completely. Does it? No. <laughs> Got it myself. Is that what it means? Uh, it might in certain contexts. Uh, like now I'm doubting myself. Um, yeah, uh, it means um, beautiful, lovely, and verb, great, steki. They're all kira kira, yeah. So, so steki namono is like something that is beautiful. So, okay, so the stars that are far away are something that's beautiful to look at. Mm, hi, kedo, do you know what that means? Uh, no, you know, uh, noni. Like, uh, there's like blah, blah, blah. Wait, sorry. There's like random things over here. Yep. Right. And it goes, no ni. And then it's like random things over here. Mada, mada, mada. Like a whole nother sentence. It's, it's different than no de. I don't know. Familiar. Beautiful, but also. Mm -hmm. So, kedo means um, like an even though, but yes, hi. So, even though things far away, you can tell that they're absolutely beautiful by looking at them. Then we have this as the second part of the sentence. Let me guess. Uh, soba ni aru mono mo, motto suteki de. 
大切なもの、うん、大切なものだと。はい。Oh, I'll believe that to h e So, do you know what sunny aru means? So, but ne- things that are、uh, nearby. Yes. So, no mono. Moto steki de. Very beautiful and important. Hi. Daisetsu na mono da. So, the, what the moto? What does that add to this? Again, like very. Yes. So it's, it's like a more. So this right here is less than this, is what that moto is telling us.、Mm-hmm. So those toku no hoshi, those are steki. However, kono soba ni aru mono, moto, moto, moto steki. So we're just,、um, yeah. So this is referencing、uh, for context that, you know, his whole family is coming and being like, no, p o k u n Oh, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. I'll pamper you. Are you okay? And he's like, wow, the things nearby, our bonds are even more special and wonderful than the far away mysterious stars. So, and then this. No, Poku no Kenkyo. Kenkyo. リポートには書いて、はい、Oops. Let's write 書いて書いてあります。The screen keeps blanking out, sorry. 書いてあります。ありました。はい。ノープくんと、so、We had the thing we got before とノープくんの研究リポートには書いてあります。So the Nobukun's、uh, research report、uh, has been written.、Mm. So, what does the ni tell us?、Um, like, naka ni. Like, in? Yes, it does mean in. And the thing that is, and that in is connecting to this to over here, which is a quotation to. So theoretically, this whole sentence over here could be reporto ni wa, and then say, toku ni aru hochi wa, steki na mono ni mi eru kedo, soba ni aru mono mo, moto steki de, taisetsu na mono da, to kaite arimas. So this could be moved to right over here if we wanted to, but it's easier to read in Japanese how they have it actually. So within Nopo kun's、um, report, He wrote this very wise phrase of、um, even stars, so the stars far away are beautiful. However, it's the people close by that is even more beautiful and precious. That's what he wrote in his report. That was his King Q report, his study report. So that's like the journey is the more important than the destination. And that is it. For today. Boop, boop. Now, well, my computer is, wants to die. It's like my battery. Didn't even notice.